everyone. It's me, Sandra McEwen, with another fun live streaming session. We have so much to do today, so much that it's crazy. In fact, I made another, I shouldn't be complaining about selling things, but I definitely have to cut off my Christmas. Anything that gets sold at this point is probably not going to be happening for Christmas because I sold a pair of cufflinks last night, which is not in this group of stuff that we are going to be working on. But again, welcome. So here's here's where everything stands. It's going to be a big day of wire bending, which, you know, it it's pretty repetitive. And I'm going to try to do my best to make sure you get a good view of what I'm doing. But honestly, and it's so funny because I'm like, oh, I'm just going to do wire bending yesterday. And then I, I'll be able to not do wire bending today on the live feed. No, I always do this. I'm like, oh, I'll be able to bend all these wires in just one afternoon. I got, let me show you what I did yesterday. I got this one done. Very sweet. Well, this one took a while and it doesn't look like, I mean, it looks like a, just like squiggles, but there's actually a lot of detail in here that was very specific that will all become apparent when we do it's all about the shading with this one. So that actually took quite a while and it has kind of a custom size. Oh, look at all this 24 karat gold. Ooh, pretty. And this is just extra because I need extra swirls because this particular one is just a slightly different height. Don't ask why. So I'm saving that in case I need to make some extra curls when we get there. So that literally took me all day yesterday. Man, I really want to get all the rest of these wires done. So definitely, here's something that I noticed. Actually, these two are optional. I actually have the wires and the bases and these are all totally, completely, me scooch that out of the way. Let me show you all that I have over here. I just added these because I wanted these two because these are all ready to go and they already have the wires fired in place. The backs are done so I was like oh I'll just add these two you know because that you know you can never do too many things at once uh, but so those are the two things that might get thrown by the wayside I just thought it would be fun to kind of bring those along too because I did add one more thing but notice the colors this year very warm and autumnal and purple those are well and obviously somebody bought this little thing but that's kind of just I, I love this one, so I can't complain. But so definitely some holiday colors, which I am very excited. And it's kind of nice that these are all the purple stuff too. So, oh, good morning. Thank you. You have to give me your first name in the comments because uh, I'm like Pierre P. Seriani. And I feel like I should know your first name, but I don't. But welcome. Thank you. Again, I believe I would very much love it if you would subscribe to my channel. That's how you'll be able to chat is if you subscribe. And again, if you have an Amazon Prime account, you may subscribe for free. So there. And I will be adding benefits to subscribers. I'm definitely going to be doing some sort of a giveaway of a, maybe a pair of earrings after a certain, you know, like maybe every six months, I'll give away a pair of earrings to my subscribers. So that sounds like something that I could do. So another reason to subscribe, but that is not written in stone, but it is pretty much written in stone. So there'll be a giveaway. So I believe that also um, apologies. It looks like my bitrate is a little unstable. So if I come and go, it is what it is. There's really nothing different about my internet. So we'll just hope that it clears itself up. So, oh, Peg. Good morning, Peg. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, Chesapeake, uh, is it cold up there? I don't even know. So, great. Let us get started. I've blabbed enough because we've got a lot to do and that is not going to get itself done just by doing that. And let's see. Oh, also, if you subscribe, I swear last time I'm going to mention it, it is uh, you won't have to watch any ads because I think ads will be running at some point. I haven't quite figured out. I, it's left on the default right now. There's just layers upon layers upon layers 
with this kind of streaming. And I've been really focusing on kind of the basics. So we'll get it all there. We will get it all there. So this one is done. And I was kind of starting with the hardest and working my way to the easiest. So we've done this one and this one. And although I could just continue with what is gold wires could be fun too. Gold wires are really nice. So you know what? That's what we're gonna do. We'll start with something kind of easy, but with delightful gold wires. So that would be this one. And I have this little thing ready to go. I don't love, you know, I'm gonna do one thing. I'm gonna grab some tracing paper. I didn't print this one out because I didn't feel like turning the printer on, so I traced it. So I'm just going to make one more copy real fast. See the real process just so I have a place to put these wires. Let's see. And I'm just going to trace this. Especially since, you know, I tend, these tend to be a little bit more free form. There we go. Perfect. So that's where the wires will live. And I don't mind. And it doesn't have to be so tiny. Should have just made that smaller. There we go. And this time I'm just kind of doing the stick, the double stick tape as I need it. So we're going to get this just like that and this. Oh, last news about streaming. I think I'm only going to stream live on Twitch and then maybe some of the lives, some of the streams I will then port to YouTube. It's just, it's hard because I won't be able to see what's going on on YouTube and I really just want to keep it on Twitch. That's it. So we've got this ready to go and we've got this and we just need the gold wire. Is this a piece of gold? I want to get, oh, I've got some bits of silver that I want to get out of the way because with the gold and the silver, we want to save all the little bits. So we've got this. I've got some fine, this is 24 karat gold wire that I made yesterday very luxurious and then here's my little scrap heap of 24 karat Ooh, pretty i do like to open it it's so like it just glows i love it and i love this we're going to be using some of this textured not this i mean maybe some of this but this thick 24 karat gold foil underneath this and on the, the tree as well the maple tree so that will be exciting because it's expensive <laughs> and it always you know it's always so luxurious so gotta get to work gotta get to work i'm gonna grab a piece like that and i'm going to see about now this started life as 26 gauge round wire 26 gauge is 0 0.405 millimeters. And then I flattened it in the rolling mill to make this lovely gold wire. And I also am thinking I'm going to, I wish, do I want to do thicker wire for that center? I really, I made some 24 gauge round wire yesterday, but I didn't make enough. Did I? No, I've got 22 gauge. I got some of this, just a little bit. Do I have enough to do two? Yes, I'm gonna use for the center line some thicker wire, which is even more luxurious because it's that much more expensive. So I've got just a little bit of it. And we will just talk about, let me get the rest of the 
wires out of the way that we won't be using. I've got, I keep them in little bags so they can stay separated. And I have a bunch of miscellaneous round things that I use to make my shapes. The 24 karat gold wire is just magical to work with. It holds its shape, it's like butter, it's just gorgeous. So I've got this. I know, I am kind of like, do I really want to get started? Yes. So let's, let me get my, this is where my thing is. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Ooh. Oh, that's great. Hold on. Nice. Oops. Auto. Oh, exposure. There we go. Never mind with that. I already blew that out for some reason. Do not ask why, but I think I can just... All right, you know, everything. And we'll start with that. And I think I'm going to focus. Lock that focus. See if that works. A little bit more. I want more but less. Does that make sense? Thing about the gold wire is because it's so expensive I try to use you know I try not to waste it the way I have like lots of bits and bobs so I want it to be just right that's good just like that one at a time just to stick it right there for now. There we go. And then, oh yeah, we got plenty. What else is using gold wire? I gotta think about it. I think this is the only other thing that's using the gold wire, so that's, that's good. Just like that. This is one of my favorite. This particular earring in this particular color is one of my favorites. It's so, it's really vibrant. Looks good on me <laughs> with my short hair. <laughs> And it just, they really glow so that I like making this one. And now we just need some leaves, which we don't need anymore. This real thick 24, 22 gauge wire. And when I say that, it means it just started out like as 22 gauge brown wire. So that we have a little bit left. We'll go live with its wire friends in the pile. Now, now we've got our sweet thin wire for the other things. And I am gonna cut this in half to make it easier to work with. I tend not to cut it as much because I don't, I wanna minimize waste, but it still needs to be workable. Oh, hey, o Orion, is that how I pronounce your name from present? Thank you for, for messaging me. Um, but isn't gold wire awesome? Yes. Um, and, oh, Germany, Germany, Orion, or, well, I apologize about my pronunciation. 
So again, welcome to the live feed. But I, if I could work in gold all the time, I totally would. If I was, I already know I said this, if I had won the lottery, I would, I would totally make something in solid 24 karat gold. And I know it would be too soft and whatever, but I wouldn't even care because it would be so much fun. So let me continue along. I'm actually going to take a moment and grab some silver wire because what I do with this expensive wire is I don't want to be fooling around trying to figure out what size. So I'm going to grab some silver wire and figure out the size mandrel I want to use, make one or two in silver, and then trans and then switch over to the gold. And I won't waste any gold. So get a little piece of I got a ton of the silver wire that I made yesterday. So let me just grab some of that. There we go. So we got plain silver wire. It's about the same size. You can see this is all handmade, so it's not exactly the same size. But we'll start with these leaves because this is a really basic shape. And um, let's see. Also, it's, it doesn't react exactly the same. That's going to be too little. Maybe. That sounds good. So what I do to make these little things, I'm going to back up just a little bit. Oops, wrong way. There we go. And let's autofocus. There we go. You know, it's I'm going to start by making something like that. And then I'm going to, I'm just kind of playing around. Once I get, make one good one, I'll know pretty much how to do it. But basically, and I know I kind of need a few small ones, a few, a few big ones. They're all, they're not all going to be the same size, but let's just see all that's beautifully done. So why we practice in the silver, just like that. I don't even know why I'm trimming it because it's not going to go on this piece. But that looks like it'll be good for at least most of them. So where did I put that mandrel? This one. So we'll put the silver aside, get the gold out and about. And now, see, and even now with the gold wires, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna cut it into circles. I'm going to literally, you, just to minimize waste, I'm gonna keep it attached. Oops, set that there. Don't want it to roll away. And I guess I could be. Oh yeah, I could look through. I'm actually looking through the micro. I wasn't looking through the microscope. I was looking around the microscope, which isn't quite as. And I'm just going to hold it just like that and pinch it closed. And then just like a little jump ring. Just like that. To trim it. Just like that. And I'm probably just going to make, that looks like a nice size, right like that. I'm gonna make a couple of them. Might as well make a little pile. Let's see. It's amazing how much wire you go through. Remember, like, this piece from yesterday that I was showing at the beginning, that's all, it, it actually weighs a lot. It's, remember, it's gonna be this piece up here. Um, I am amazed at how much gold wire it took. To, I mean, I shouldn't be amazed, but I kept, you know, I tend to do gold wire in, in lengths of about 12 inches. And, you know, so I can kind of eyeball about how much gold wire I'm using. And it doesn't matter because you know what, this, this piece is a beautiful hand, handcrafted. This is a, a custom order for someone. This is a very special uh, maple tree that's in there on their property. So it's going to be, it's a special thing. So I'm not worried about how much gold I'm using, but it's just, I kept doing, I'm like, all right, probably two strands, but it was just like another, then another, then an, oh, it was, it was so much gold. 
So, ugh. All right, I'm going to get back to work. I just, it was a lot. I had to actually use my Pomodoro timer because it was like, when you're doing something that's kind of repetitive like that, sometimes you just need that extra focus so you don't wander off emotionally. There we go. And I'm just going to, there we go. There we go. Make a little pile. Oh, yes. You know what? This is a brand new pair of cutters. Thank you, Camille, if that is a correct pronunciation. Um, yes, I literally bought these quite literally just maybe two or three months ago. I used to be using these, which are good. I'll show you exactly what it is. Lindstrom. These are good, but these are truly great. They just have a really great, you always want a very delicate flush cutter like this. And I actually also got a new one as well. Oh, this one, see, look, I have three new pairs. Well, old, medium, and I just got this one. This one doesn't quite have the point, but the it's a much more comfortable handle. So I'm working into using these, but these honestly are my go-to. And I honestly only bought them because they have short handles and they fit underneath my jewelry microscope. Whereas when I was using the really long, I had a ton of, oh look, here's another pair. Um, these are okay, good starter ones, but they're very long and I kept hitting the top of my microscope with them. Um, these are really nice, basic. I think are these, these are Swanstrom as well. Um, slightly less, slightly, slightly less expensive, but the one hand tool you're going to splurge money, monthly wise, monthly wise is this because I'm pretty sure these are between 60 and $90. So yes, but these are really, really nice. Swanstrom MS138-2. So, but yeah, the correct tools make a world of difference. And I, now I'm getting back. I've made, I've made two wires and it's been 22 minutes. And I'm just gonna, notice I'm just using the same template. The same, I'm going back to the same one because I kind of want them all to be about the same. Oh, this one looks like it wants to be. Let's make, let's make two, let's make four more and then we'll see because we probably need to make some smaller ones as well.
two more and then we'll put some in on and see where we are. Two, four, six, Now, let's just see and get my tape. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I'm just going to, I should actually, oh, look at this. I could put this over the thing and then see where the wires are supposed to, oh, there we go. Look at that, me being, just, I think they're all good, this. I can go up, just like that. Two. Oh wait, that one goes. Just like that, excuse me. Just like that. And then, where did you go? You guys are hiding under there. Good. Was there one more? Hold on. Where'd you go? Oh, yeah, you're hiding. And then, just like that. I think we can do one more of that size and then we need a couple small and a couple there we go
for now just to hold them. And then and now these have to be a little bit longer. going there. I will position it a little better in a moment. Let's see if we got one more. I'm getting there. I'm going to yeah, keep doing this. That was way too big, but we'll see. It's good to get warmed up with something repetitive and easy. just need how many more? One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, just a few more and these will be smaller. Oh. 
almost like that. Trim you and deal one. Just put you over there. over there. Two more, two more. And then we'll move on to something more exciting. Hang out over there. that. Now, let's just see where we are here. Just going to that just like that. And then, you know, we'll fuss with these a little more when we're putting them on the piece. There we go. Those wires are done. Looks lovely. So let's bring our tray of finished pieces back. And now we have all three gold things. There might be a little bit of gold. I don't think so. Um, yeah, no, I think everything else is going to be silver, silver, silver. So that is good. So we'll just set you guys here so you guys are not going to get squished. Three done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more to go. You haven't seen the last one. But let's say goodbye to our gold wire because so pretty. I just really, I love looking at it. I will just, let's put this back. We have just, I could have made another piece. There we go. You can go live in there. Done with that. And now... Let's do them. Let's do the look at this sweet. This is a I, the name of the butterfly completely just escaped me. Um, Buckeye, Buckeye, Buckeye butterfly. So it's going to have a lot. This is going to be a really fun one to do the colors for. I'm looking forward to it. So let's get the wires done. These are pretty straightforward, but. There you go. Oh, and you know what? It'll just be easier. 
I have everything kind of printed out in black and white over here. And I will cut it out. So you can see what the wires look like, how they differ from the actual coloring. So it makes the coloring a lot more challenging because, although it makes it look a little bit more realistic because the coloring kind of hugs the, the wires. You'll see later this week, probably maybe in the next video, we'll get to the colors of these. These all need to go into the mail before, I think December 9th is the deadline for the last of them. Some of them are due a little bit before, and maybe this one I said I was going to have it done last Friday. Um, but I don't want to rush it. I want it to be really special. So my apologies. I hope it will be worth the wait. So this little guy is next, just plain silver. Oh, I should probably get a blank one of these to put the Oh, let's focus auto. We've got one of these. You know, my graphic design, I never really liked graphic design, but learning Illustrator, Photoshop, Premiere, all that stuff has really paid off in spade because I do a lot of my work using that technology and it makes it so much easier especially for sizing and stuff. So let's get the tape. Stick some double stick tape. If you're interested in the brand, that is the brand. Permanent, not, not if you get the non-permanent, it's not sticky enough. There we go. Put these down. like that. Just put that back in the correct spot so I know where everything is. Don't need that. And this one should go, this one's pretty straightforward. Really the trick to this is you, I'm going to just use one side so it's the same and then I'm going to make them concurrently, just like you're doing, making a pair of earrings so they end up the same because I want it to be, I hand drew this so I can tell it's not the same. So I'm going to use, this side looks better to me. So that is what that is. Let's go to, we are going to use our standard 26 gauge, not the tall stuff. This was just made using 26 gauge round wire. 26 gauge is 0 0.405 millimeters. Alrighty, let's get a nice look how long this is. See this, I have a ton of, and I am gonna make it shorter so it's easier to work with. Nice little pile. There we go. So sweet. So sweet. Now we should kind of bring this up here so you know what we're working on. And stick you out of the way for now. And let's start in the center there. Maybe with those tiny little eyeballs. Oh, here's a new tool that I got. These round nose pliers. I actually have them in three sizes. You don't need three sizes. Uh, you'll want three sizes. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why. We've got the large. These are actually really inexpensive. This is, hey, made in Germany. These are really high. The best tools are made in Germany. These are, um, I got these from Rio. They're not expensive, um, but these are really great round nose. And they have a slightly larger tip, which I use a lot. You know, it, you don't necessarily need smaller, smaller, smaller with this. Sometimes it's this, you need different sizes, do different things. So this is great. Uh, we, I use this a lot. And then I had, this was the smallest of the one. You can see this is a much smaller tip and these are good. This is a Lindstrom. And so these are kind of my two go-to. You can see kind of large and this is now medium, but large and small, but quite literally a couple weeks ago, I saw, I was taking a class, I was in Orlando, 
taking an Orion uh, arc welding class and the teacher had, look how fine these are. Look at these. They're actually so small that they're, I don't use them as much as I thought I would. These actually are still my go-to, but you can see the difference and how wonderful. And this is also a Lindstrom product. And also these handles, so nice, so nice. And you know, I get no money from any of these companies. So there's no deal, but really sweet. And look how qual like really the quality here is really nice. So if you're making the tiniest little things for this, I actually use these, so that was good. You know, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Oh, I'm making eyeballs. That's why. Eyeballs. I have to make two tiny eyeballs. And you know what? Maybe I'll use this. Let me put... Let me get this. And But the thing with the, these pliers is you really use the just the tip. Honestly, you, the tip and maybe a little bit in. I never really use them working my way down. So this will make the tiniest little dot. So that's actually almost too tiny. Or is it? Is it too tiny? I don't think so, but look at how tiny that is. Now that is a small eyeball. And I could, yeah, I'll trim it. Get my little things. I love tools. Tiny one. Now I'm going to make another one. Wow, that is a very tiny eyeball. Make one more. And these are really great for making the tiniest little curly cues. Ooh, oh, I, did you see? I just knocked the eyeball off with the... Ugh, probably going to end up having to make another one. Just that kind of a day. I swept it off. I should have put it on the sticker. All right, there's that. Let's see, where did I put the eyeball? I'm just going to make another one. It's not even worth looking for. But before I make another one, let me put... Did I lose that one? No, it's right here. <laughs> They're so tiny. All right, you're gonna you're gonna live over here, buddy. There's your eyeball. That's actually perfect. Sweet. Now make one more. That one was for the gods. my finger on it and then move you right there. Two sweet little eyeballs. And, and pretty much we're done with this for probably we're done with this <laughs> and maybe we'll use this to make some other things but it was a great tool. And now we're gonna make these little guys so this is a lot easier. And with the silver, I tend to be a little bit more laissez-faire about, you know, I, you know, I'm, it can be more experimental because I don't mind being a little bit more, because it's, there's going to just be a certain amount more of the waste. So I'm going to start just like that. This one will be probably start with kind of a large thing and then bend it with my fingers. Your fingers are a great tool. 
I say that, but then I'm like, oh, I didn't like that band. Hmm. Let me soften that. I didn't really want it to be a pinch. I see you're stuck on my, oh, you little, get off my finger. You know, I'm starting that one over. You know, it's a center. It's so simple that if it's if it's gloopy, it just you know. I'm gonna start that from scratch. It's the main thing you're gonna notice, and if it's off center or you know, it's just. I was trying to show that my hands were a great tool but for that. They actually were not. So we'll start with this, just like that. That's better. I can tell already that that's a better situation. Just like that. There we go. And if you're wondering, I don't know if you're wondering, I do not anneal my wires. I like them to be springy. Not that there's anything wrong. If you would like to anneal your wires, that is fine, absolutely. I just, I like the springiness and how they really hold their shape and they can kind of be manhandled. Um, especially with straight lines like this kind of a design. It's just nice that everything kind of keeps its shape like that. So where'd you go? Oh, I found the other eyeball. It was right here. Boop. Well, we don't need you, so put you in the little scrap heap. You always find it afterwards. It's a little bit of extra space, but that's fine. Let's scoot you down a little bit. I always tell my students that they're not supposed to fuss with the wires on the tape, but, and then I find myself fussing with the wires on the tape. But there you go. All right, now we're ready to do these easy peasy pieces. Easy peasy. And we'll start, and we're just going to work our way sort of in that direction. So we'll start with, I'm just going to wrap this whole thing. But that's how you know it's not a kneel to see. You kind of like, you wrap it all the way around like that, and then when you let go, it's like, springs up just like that. I kind of just let it fall. So, but you get a sense of how much it's going to unrelax. So, and I'm going to make it, these I'm just going to make just a hair longer. I'll trim them when I put them in place because there's nothing worse than it not being quite long enough said that and then I'm like well, maybe not so much longer a little bit longer one millimeter one millimeter and then we'll make the other side I bet I can just do this Is that, oops Just like that. One millimeter. There we go. Now, this one, oh, that's nice and easy, but I still want it to have a little bit of shape, so I'm going to wrap it around here just to give it a little, nothing should ever be super straight. I feel like a little swoopiness is nice so and see how that has a round edge I don't know if you can see that's where you get into trouble so you take a moment and trim that so it's nice and straight especially since it won't butt up properly and I'm just going to hold it like that bend it Just like that. Yeah. 
trim it. Just like that. That's good. One on each side. Fifteen minutes. I'm not sure. It's funny because I want to ask if you've had to watch some sort of a um, ad, but the only people that can reply are subscribers who don't have to watch ads. So I, it's hard to know if ads are running during it or if it's after. I got to do some more research. I mean, I want obviously to make a little money from this, but I don't want it to be so aggravating. So. It's that fine dance. They're certainly getting their cut. So let's... I'll do. Flip it over. Boop. You go over here. You love these butterflies. All right, next, next, next. Now I'm going to go ahead and I just do this. Oh yeah, this one is one piece. Interesting. So let me show you because I've got two pieces that are I call them Y pieces. It's going to be one wire, but it's going to be shaped like that. It's really nice because it's very easy to make. So I'm just going to fold the piece. Pull my wire. They just stand up really nicely on their own. And they don't ever, they can't possibly tip over. And I'm just going to cinch it. And then I might even continue. I'm going to just a little bit of, oops, sorry. A little bit of that. So it has a little curve to it. And then Hold it up just like that. Oops. Oh, you little guy. Just like that. And then this one comes up like that. And we'll just finesse him a little bit. It's just like that. And I'm going to trim. Just, I should definitely double check that that's going to fit. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Just like that. Bend it down just a little bit. There we go. That looks good. And maybe just one more little nibble off. And there we go. There we go. Now, you're going to go just like that. See how nice that is? Very elegant. Now, before I forget how I did that, Let's do it again. I'm going to get some fresh, piece of fresh wire because it needs to be fairly straight. And let's just fold it over. There we go. And a little bit of a little bit of sweet little swoopiness. 
same thing. Just like that. Trim it. First, and then I will finesse it a little bit. There we go. I'm going to trim it just one more little bit. There we go. Oh. Just like that, and then before we forget where it goes, let's flip it around and get you positioned on our pinch you just a little closed. Nice. So see how it's, to be honest, these ones that are really simple, you have to spend the most care with. So, and I've got one more situation that's like that. It's this piece. So we're going to do those and then we'll get to all these little straightaways. Straightaways, I, I got a plan. There is a plan. So we're going to do the same thing. So we fold this. I need my glasses. Oh, I swear. I need, a, I need glasses that I can just press a button on the side of my temple and they just zoop in. Um, technology will never be enough, will it? There we go. Using all this technology to do this crazy, ancient piece, fairly straightforward and labor intensive art. I don't know if that's irony or not. There we go. So. Oh, now we're stuck. I'm going to do this, and we're going to do this just slightly different. I'm going to hold it right where it's going to be, and then I'm going to get my finger in there, and maybe something round, something round, just like that. And maybe I'm going to do it and just wrap it around. So it kind of looks like a, it's like a goal post that I'm going to pinch it together. Just like that. Now. Let's move you. Top it. Just like that. Trim the extra. You are trimming right there. I mean, just like that. And then just now a little finesse. Pinch them a little bit closed. There we go. That looks good. And just one more little trim. Where did you go? You're basically just just like that. Perfect. Now one more of those. Use this last little guy. Eleven o'clock. Do you think we're gonna finish? I should do a poll if I <laughs> so many options. I'm not gonna do a poll. Do you think I'm gonna finish all these today? And I want to say, you know, I'd love to tell you that I'm faster by myself because 
where did I put the thing? Because of, you know, I'm jibber jabbering right now. But, you know, to be honest, if I wasn't saying all this stuff out loud, I'm saying all this stuff in my head. So. I can't say that I'm any faster. I'm not a speed demon here. Now I'm going to grab something round. Just put you right like that. There we go. Pinch you closed a little bit. Now we're trimming. Oh, come on, buddy. You're getting trimmed. I'm going to get straightened just a little bit. There we go. That looks good. But that's something like that. If these wires had been annealed, it would have just kind of crumpled them. But this, these can be manhandled a lot. There we go. Adjust. All right, we're getting closer now. We just have to do all these little straightaways. I know it looks a little weird right now. It doesn't quite look much like a butterfly. Common buckeye. That is the butterfly. So now we've got these straightaways and these I'm going to make I guess a little bit long. Not too much because I'm like I hate trimming later but I also hate them being too short. So let's put those in there. These are all. So let's Focus in, I'm going to zoom in just a hair, and let's lock that, let's see if that is helpful. You should see my setup. <laughs> it's like, it looks like a laboratory in here. It's like the lights and the camera and my laptop, it's crazy. Let's see. Now these, you can, I drew them. These are going to be more used so they don't tip over. See that? Straight lines, you don't want them to tip. And I don't mind these being a little bit straighter. And Making them just a hair longer, but not too much. You're going over here. That's fine. And let's see. Zoom, zoom. Oh, and just a little bend. You can do that. This one's a nice crease. Give me that. Pinch it. And opening it. Just 
like that. I wonder if you're going to be long enough. Yes. Maybe. Let's cinch it. Open it. Oh, you little guy. Come on, open up. There we go. You go right there. Just like that. And then just one, two. Oh, did I want to go this way? This way. go ahead and make these definitely a little bit longer than normal. And obviously when I was drawing this design, I was thinking about how, what shapes I'm making. It's not random that they all happen to work, work into perfect views. That is planned. There we go. Just like that, open you up. Trim you a little bit longer, a little bit longer. And then you can hang out just like that. And we'll pinch this when we get, you know, when we get it all in place. Well, we have enough for this one. Let's find out. Let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it. We got it. Do this one first. Oh, I should have trimmed that a little longer, but whatever. Don't care. Flip it over. Bring our friend. I don't know why this side seems... I guess it's shifted over a little bit, the wires. It's fine. Um, trust. I'm going to trust the template. Put this down a little bit. Now we just have one, two, oh, we got a couple more. What's next? Got to get some more. And we'll do, let's see, this one and this one. Just like that. This one can kind of... Flick you into place. Bada bing. Bada boom. There we go. And how many are you getting? I 
that's really the only one on that side. There we go. Let's make another one. Just like that. Thank you, Dan. How's everyone doing? Still there. Where'd this one go? Oh, that one goes here for some reason. I see we don't have as much. Oh, I think this needs to go down a little bit. Now, one more, two more. One or two, maybe one more. Well, we'll see. It is a perfect rainy day here. There's, it's just really nice. I don't even have a case of the Sundays. There we go. Just, just like that. And one more. You go here. All right, we got two more pieces here. Two more pieces. One. It's a little thicker. Just like that. But that one's extra long. Who knows what's going on? It's because this one's a lot fatter. Whatever. We'll we'll finesse later. What is that saying? Perfection is the, I don't know, something. This one kind of goes down a little bit more. That one goes, there we go, perfect. Now, there we go. Let's almost get you in place. Just like that. Nice. Let's see. 
what we have. Check that out. All oh, it's good. That was two down, two down. Now two down. Very exciting. So what's next? Let me have a moment to think. Um, what do we want to do? Well, let me put this one away so it doesn't get squished. Let's bring our tray of completion back. Here is the tray of completion. We've got, we're going to put you right there. Nice. That looks lovely. Our four down. Four down. Now, what is next? Let's just, what is that screen up? Let's go with this. Oh, focus is locked. That's why. There we go. So, done, 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 done. I know I need to do this one. And you know what? Uh, we don't have to do those are done. Those wires are already done as is I've got these wires done. So actually we just have to do one, two, three, four, plus that one pair, which I haven't even shown you. I sold a pair of cufflinks. Has it's been I don't think I've sold a pair of cufflinks since before COVID. So I guess people are stepping out more wanting sweet, sweet cufflink action. So I'm gonna make I'm kind of excited about making a cufflink, but not excited because I'm going to have to make the base. So it's going to slow me down. And, but I can get the wires done for it. And so let us, you know, I feel like we've deserved, we earned a break. We're going to do some easy ones and then we'll get to this one next because this one is, takes big focus. So we're done with this. So we can put that in the pile of the done. And now we're going to do, now this one's a little unique because this one's going to be, you can't really tell from the drawing. The drawing is just really, you know, shorthand. So I need to kind of remember where I'm going, but this is actually technically going to be kind of an iridescent color. Um, let's see if I have the, let me get the color real fast. I said real fast, and then I literally just strolled over. I know these are in no particular order. These are all the colors that are going on these. Uh, but I wanted to show you this kind of, this sweet little thing. Um, this is actually just, it looks like how many colors? Nine colors. There are actually only three colors of enamel on here. It's just all of the colors are created through layering. So let's see if I can get a better image there but you can see the main color is yellow a vivid yellow a vivid blue and a vivid kind of a fuchsia color and then all of these interstitial colors I don't know if that's the correct word are created by layering not mixing layering one color on top of another line for example this this purple is two coats of the fuchsia and one coat of the blue. This one is two coats of the blue, one coat of the fuchsia. And this is the color that we're going to be, I don't know if you can see how it kind of looks, it's hard to see in the, the thing, but you can kind of see it has a really vivid opalescent quality. See a little bit how you're kind of looking through the different things. That's what this is gonna be, a long-winded way to say, it's not, I'm not using opalescent enamels. I'm going to be kind of creating an opalescent effect. So I think you can kind of see just how pretty those are. But so this, I believe actually making these samples was a video on my Vimeo channel. Uh, if you are interested in, I did a whole bunch of layering and um, here's a link to my Vimeo channel videos. Yes, if you're all at all interested in that, I've made a bunch of these. Uh, they were really fun. So that's on the Vimeo channel. So that's what that is. But that being said, because I need 
to layer so many different colors, I want a little extra depth. And so you probably can't tell here is, remember if you were joined me a couple days ago when we sawed these out and fabricated them, this one is actually different than all the other bases in that it has a deeper, it's the same height as all the other ones this way, but it has a thinner piece of silver on the back and a thicker piece of silver on the top so I have more depth. It is, I don't know, uh, not quite one millimeter, probably 0.9 millimeters deep. And normally I do like 0.8, so a little bit of extra depth, which will allow me to do more layering for the purple. So, but that means I need taller wires. That's really where this was going. Taller wires. Can't forget, or else your wires will be too short. So turn that down and come back to the main. Oh, not that thing. So many interfaces. There we go. Now, so that being said, these wires aren't going to be tall enough. They will be too short. So I made, trust me, we're not making wires today. I did it yesterday and the day before. I made, uh, oh, I've got two, two. We've got label everything. Top for the top. Oh, really? Oh, well, I guess that'll be all right. Um, We've got, I started with 24 gauge because I needed them to be a little bit taller. So remember 24 gauge is 0.511 millimeter. And yeah, I have a cheat sheet right over there. Um, that's why I can't do it. If it's anything other than, you know, increments of gauges, you're out of luck. So, so I just did that. And 18 gauge height, chunk of Thank you, previous Sandra, for being really good. And then I also have a slightly thinner one. This, I don't have much in case I want to do a thinner wire right in here, which I probably do. I don't know. Probably. So let's, this will be a nice, easy one. So let's grab our scissor and cut this one out. There we go. And, you know, while I'm already did the wires for that one but oh, I love these sweet earrings Jessica from Ohio thank you for ordering these I'm very excited to make these for you hope you're doing well these are going to be purple just regular sweet kind of pale blue not iridescent but lovely nonetheless and Oh, thanks for stopping by. I don't know if everyone, can everyone read the chat and not participate? I got things to figure out. Um, we got this, that, and let's get some tape. This is just gonna be regular height, so. I swear. Let's just do that. Do that. I like to fold these down so I can do that. And while I'm here, I'm going to get you guys, you going. Let's see. It'll be a nice, easy one, too. There we go. And I'll set you aside for now because I'll do you next. We're going to do the easy ones. God, we might actually even get, uh, dare I, mm, we'll see. Dare I say we'll get to textured foils today? Well, we have to have a lot of, no, never mind. We have to do all the wires on the back. And I forgot to tell you that this one also has a more complicated back design. So just a lot to do. All right, that's going to live over there. This is real easy. There we go. Let's see, A plus, whatever. Now, let's see. I don't really need, I do this one a lot. I think I know. I don't need to look at the drawing that much. But I see it's really thin. 24 gauge wires. All right, I'm sure it's fine. I 
that's fine. I'm talking to myself now. Do I want to go over? I don't have the camera set up at the rolling mill. So, probably get something smaller. Probably should have used maybe 22 gauge. Let's see. You just shorten that. Oof. See, I hate marbles that are just pulling. Doesn't please me that much. These will be fine. Just like that. Hold on. Let me take one moment and adjust. So there's where I'm looking. Oh, hold on. Gotta adjust. Oh, let me zoom back out a little bit. Wrong way. Sorry, everybody. Let me move this. Sometimes things kind of get shifted around. Okay, so this is where I'm looking. And now, let's zoom in. There we go. Yeah, I'm alternating looking through the microscope and not, even without all the extra stuff. Just a little bit right there. little shorter. I am probably going to have to look at each of these orders and see exactly when they are due. Maybe break them into two groups of the ones that are, there might be some that are due in like two or three days. And then the others I know are not due until the 9th, so I might have to do that. As much as I I want to finish this huge batch so I can go on and make something. Not that these aren't fun, but, you know, I've got, I've got those glow-in-the-dark enamels that I want to play with. There's so much that I'm excited about. Oh, I want to make a ton of sample strips. I have a bracelet to finish. Uh, I have another idea for a big necklace. There's just not enough hours in the day. All right, what's next? Let's get some more of this tall, tall stuff. This one seems a little thicker. Ooh, it's fine. 
So we'll start with this little guy. And then, oh, we got a couple curly cues. That's not tight enough. That's good. And even a little tighter. Let's You out of the way. You just go back there, buddy. And that's fine. And then a much smaller one. Ad in progress. Oh, maybe there's an ad plane for, it says ads in progress for one minute. For those people that most <laughs> most of the people that are not subscribed might be watching an ad right now. I hope it's not a terrible ad because I'm not seeing anything. I just see a note that says "ad in progress." So I wonder if you just will be able to watch it later. Forty-four. You're not missing much. Let's just there we go. Oh, you little oof. There we go. Perfect. Now we're just going to make two curly cues and a dot. Two curly cues with the Regular. Are we making more curly? We don't have, this is like so unusual that none of these designs have curly cues. I mean, I know this one does, but the wires are already done. Oh, this going to be curly cues on the back of one of them. So, but it's so unusual because usually I'm sitting here making endless curly cues, but no. And I'm going to have to put my glasses on. Let's see if I can. This one's just going to be small curly cues. Oh, that's like the world's worst curly cue. The first curly cue of the day is also always trash. Also, never mind. I'm just going to. I'm going to have to rearrange things before I make curly cues because the camera is in the way. I can't get my eyeball close enough to it. Um, yes, things have to get changed. That's fine. You know what? Fine. I will finesse the, finesse the crap out of this curly cue. Sometimes you just have to accept that that's as good as it's going to get perfect. The curly cues for this one are not the main element. Just a little dollop of green. All right, I'm going to have to figure this out because there are curly cues getting made in the next one. Let's see if I can stare into the phone. No, because there's a weird lag. All right. There we go. I probably made, I made so many curly cues yesterday. You'd think I'd have the muscle memory left over from yesterday. Oh, that's not a bad one. There we go. Finally, a decent curly cue. You know, that's my signature move there. And the truth is out. Is 
There we go. And I'll make a dot just in case I've got room, a little dot. And I'm just going to little tiny dot. That gives me an opportunity to use my favorite chartreuse chrome if I put this little dot on there. And if I don't, just will be missing that sweet little, you know, it doesn't look like it's going to fit, but it will. Now, two little things and two little things, and this one will be done. So, let's get one more thing. I see that, and I'm just going to fold this over. This is a nice, easy shape because it's just two little swoops that are connected. And we're going to cinch them. I want them to be fairly. Wrap it around. There we go. And then I will unfold it just like that. Hold on, let me trim it so I can fool around with it. Open it up a little bit. Trim you. Get you guys out of the way. Oh wait, you can stay. Let's get a little bit more. Oh. Oh yeah, those curl. I mean, yeah. I mean, you just have to practice with the curly cues. Um, Yes, we had a question. Someone's working on the rainbow bracelet tutorial. That is a challenging tutorial. Um, and I have to actually revisit my bracelet because I, 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 took, I took it to Aramont and I didn't wrap it properly. I just kind of jammed it in a box and two of my, two of my little squares had some cracking. And I'm hoping it's because that's, I'm hoping that's the reason and not some other reason, but I'm gonna have to go in, pull the necklace, pull the bracelet apart and kind of redo the two areas that cracked. So, but I'm like, is it worth making a video about it? Probably not because there we go. And you know, I want a little bit. Where did you go? Oh, you, fine, we'll just use you. I just want it to be a little bit more curly. There we go. Because we don't want it to tip over. All right, boom, done. There we go. Nice and done. That, see, I told you we needed a, an easy win. So, oh, thank you for subscribing, Berry Lady Bird One. <laughs> I really appreciate it. You, I, you know what I was thinking just now? If I can get to, I have to think of a number of subscribers. Like, if I get to 100 subscribers, I'm going to do, I'm going to do a pendant or an earring giveaway uh, and I'll draw and it'll actually only be 99 because one of the subscribers is my husband and he does not want a pair of earrings or a pendant. So you'll have one in 99 chance. Uh, see how fast I could get to 100. It might be hopefully not next Christmas, but as soon as that happens, there you go. All right, let's bring in the board of completion. Ooh, doo, doo. 
put it all on. There we go. Definitely keep your finished wires in a tray away from things like your elbow. Trust me, they always end up attached to my elbow. I spent a lot of time one time making these really elaborate wires and my desk was messy as it is right now. You can't really see, but, and you know, whatever, I went home, then I came in and I was like fooling around and I was like, where did those wires go? They had fallen on the floor and I had stepped on them. So don't do that. All right, so what's next? Oh yeah, 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 we're gonna do our friend. Oh, our sweet, this is gonna be hopefully pretty straightforward. These little guys, it's gonna be one, two wires, four wires total. So let's just see if we can make it happen. Let me, speaking of tidying things up, let me just get these little bits of silver thrown into the silver. Now, we don't want to accidentally use the wires that are too tall, so those are going to go back in the tall wire bag. And we're done with the tall wires. You can go over there, buddy. And we're going back to our regular wires. I made a ton of wires. Well, I also had, I sold a ton of kits. So in each of those kits, it has wires. I'm like, whenever I make a kit, I try to make six copies so I don't have to do it again because they're very time consuming to make those kits, by the way. And, but I had to bend a lot of wires yesterday. All right, so this is a nice straight one. Perfect. Let's just make a little pile. I know we're not gonna use all of these, but there we go. And this is basically a curly Q and a bent thing. So we'll start with the curly Q. And these have to be perfect, so it might be one or two tries. There we go. Let's just... Oh, do I want to do a big one? No, I'm going to use these med mediums. Just, oops. The trick. I wonder if I could arrange. Let's see if I can focus. There we go. Auto? Come on, bunny. It's too close, isn't it? There we go. Well. I can tell. Yeah, definitely. It's just that I can't get my head in there. You realize how much space your head takes up when you have a whole bunch of other equipment. <laughs> You're like, why can't I get my face in there? <laughs> oh, there we go. Come on, buddy. You gonna focus? And, well, you know, getting closer. Not my best achievement. I really, I'm gonna have to pull this away. I'm gonna lift it up a little bit, you know? There we go. I think just for just for curly cues, I'm going to switch you. See if I can get you to focus a little bit. There, that might be better. Ooh, oh no, that's not a great one. So we're going to start again. There we go. Start with a nice round shape like that. Now I'm gonna just right there like that. See, my thumb is facing the ceiling and I am using, it's right on the tip. So you can see there's no extra whatever hanging down there. And then honestly, it's I'm going to support the wire with this finger. And this is a lot easier with on the knee old wire. And I'm just going to pivot 180 degrees basically. And then my thumb is facing the floor. And then I'm going to pull out, pivot back upstairs, go back in on the top, just like that, and bring it down. And this is not going to be a great one because I'm showing it to you. But, and then I pull out 
come back up and wherever, oh, this is a terrible one, wherever it is at the top, just learning, you're going to go down. And look, look, stuck to my hand, I told you, stuck. And then you keep going back in. Oh, it's terrible. I swear, you know, I could, you know, I'm probably an imposter trying. I, do you even know this is Sandra McEwen? This is going to be like this whole, Sandra McEwen is a fraud. She doesn't know how to make any curly cues. So sometimes it's good not to think about it. So dupe. 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 There we go. Now, just get you. Actually, do I want a little bit more? Yes, one more dupe. And a little bit more. There we go. That. That's a curly cue. Now they go just like that. And we'll trim you. Get you out of the way. And a little bit like this. And there we go. Dupe, 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 one more. You sweet little earrings. Now we just have two more pieces for this one. This is a nice, quick, easy one, and we're just going to fold over this, cinch it, and make it's like the same shapes over and over again. Maybe almost a little bit like that. Just like that. Open it up. Let's get on. I feel like I need something clean. There we go. There. So I can see what's going on. Flick, flick that a little bit. Just like that. There we go. Sweet. Sweet, but simple. Sent you. Just like that. A little bit more finesse these little oh, there we go. Simple, sweet, done. Boom, you can go right there. Next, oh, we are just flying through. So let's see, done, those were done earlier. Done, 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 done. Let's do this next, these sweet landscape things. And I know I drew things, these are gonna be curly cues and not whatever, you know, when I drew it and then I went and looked up the photo of what she bought and it has, it has swoops instead of 
clouds. I mean, it probably doesn't make that much difference, but you know, I want to make sure people get, especially with these, because these this particular earring, and there's a pendant, really. I love making it. Each one is totally unique because they're kind of more procedural. Like, honestly, you just, I love kind of playing around with these really sweet teals and these pinks and these many, like there's far too many different shades of colors in this tiny little thing. It's probably one of the most color intensive, tiny little pieces. But, so it takes a lot of time when we get to the color to get these, so but it'll be worth it because they're really pretty. So, and luckily with this, it's, oh, let's get, let's get a piece of tape. Wait, let's cut up. Yeah, this is fine. Let's cut one of these up. Hold our thing and tape. Just like that. And this is kind of more procedural. So it doesn't, I mean, I'm going to try to kind of make it look like this, but it is not necessarily going to be exactly like that. And I kind of just start by making a nice, kind of a textured, you know, I'm going to take this and kind of texture it. And I'm going to use my regular chain nose pliers. If you were using really thin wire, you could use these tweezers, but these tweezers are just a little too delicate. So I'm just going to kind of just, and I kind of want it to be kind of jagged like mountains. So if you wanted it to be soft, you would use a round nose thing for this and then you would get a soft little whatever. And I'm just going to kind of randomly, you know, dupe it. You know, just kind of not always doing the same, but just kind of making, see how it kind of just making a shape. But I'm trying not to be too uniform, like a little bit of everything. And I'm just going to make a lot of it, make a little bit, and then we'll shape it to the thing. I think it's pretty uniform, but we can adjust it. That should be enough to get started. Now, so I see I have a nice interesting shape. And now I'm going to just eyeball it, you know. Let's grab this side. The colors are throwing me off. There we go. So I kind of want to start with the mountain. Actually, this we're going to start with, let's see. There we go. See what looks, this looks like, oh, this looks like Grandfather Mountain right there. <laughs> Just like that. That's it, a mountain in North Carolina. Has kind of a flat top, but I don't think anyone would see this and be like, oh, that is definitely Grandfather Mountain. Maybe. I'm going to it up just a little bit. There we go. And then I'm just going to put you like that. And then that sweet mountain range kind of continues. So it's just usually turn it up just a little bit. Just like that. be a little longer than we need. And now I'm going to put it upside down so it kind of looks more like a valley so it kind of continues like that. And then we've got this little gun. like that. And we've got to make a little bit more. See how fast these, these little ones are going. It's good to have a little of everything. We'll definitely slow down when we get to that 
the fire forest, which is going to be a really pretty one. Oh my goodness. It has a fire opal. Oh, I'll show it to you in a second. Well, when we get to it. You should focus on the task at hand. I was watching something about making yourself do things that you don't love to do. You know, there's, you know I was bending wire, and I was like, oh, bending, not bending wire, I'm making wire. And I was sitting at the rolling mill for like an hour, and according to this psychological thing, if you tell yourself that it's, you should never be reward-based, it should never be like, after I finish this task, I get to have a brownie. That's not the correct way to make the task something you keep going at and you're, you know, whatever. So what you have to do is whatever. Maybe there's going to be a brownie at the end. Maybe there's not. But you tell yourself, you say it out loud while you're doing it in the middle of it. I love dot, dot, dot. So I love making cloisonné wire. And if you say it enough, it's like when you fake smile, it actually kind of makes you feel better. And you know what? It actually works. I was like, yeah, all right. Not so bad making this cloisonné wire real fun. I was like, this is my life now. I make cloisonné wire. I am a cloisonné wire making machine. But it's the same thing when I make kits. I pretend that I'm whatever. You know what? I'm obviously oversharing. So that. All right, where did I put my tweezers? A little bit of that. Let's get, we've got, oh yeah, we have this one, which is going to be a little less, a little less hilly. So it's just not going to be as aggressive with my bending. That should be enough. There we go. Just like that. Oh, we're going to do, oh, we're going to fill this. I forgot there's curly cues in this one. So yes, there will be curly cues. I forgot. Oops, put this. And yeah, the wires look like nothing until you get the colors in. It's so funny how that happens. Do that. Like this. And I might be adjusting these later when I'm gluing these wires in place because they ran out of space. Hold on. I'm going to pull this up a little. that bend down just a little bit and so we'll do that now one more you know I think I'm not going to do this little thing I think we're just going to fill curly cues curly cues. But, you know, maybe this is... No, no, I'm just... I'm doing so bad with the curly cues, it's not worth trying to make curly cues using my brand new tiny, tiny pliers. Adds a level of complexity I'm not prepared to, to deal with right now. So, but I just need a little pile of them, and they're going to be very tiny curly cues. So there's a nice one. Let's just make a little pile and fall down. Honestly, now that I have the camera lifted up a little bit so I can get, it actually works a lot easier. I can see what's going on. So definitely. Just let those fall where they may. Just 
like that. Oh, I probably need, those are probably way too big. I need some tiny ones. Sometimes I get so, it's fun, it's funner. It's more enjoyable to make a very specific size curly cues, but sometimes you need real tiny ones. And we'll have some dots. It's actually not going to take very much, just like that. All right, you know what? I'm going to grab the new pliers. No time like the present. Remember our friends, these? Let's make a curly cue. Let's make the tiniest curly cue. So tiny, will we be able to fit a grain of glass in between? I don't know. Yes, we will. Oh, look at that. Look at how tiny this curly cue is. <gasps> look how tiny. Let's see. You can. It's so tiny. Let's see. Look at that. Can you see how tiny that curly cue is? Oop. There it is. Very, very nice. Compared to trying to make that other curly cue, this is, you can see the difference. It just makes, it's worth it for the baby curly cues. So, but as far as the tools go, let me just do this real fast. Talking, you know, talking myself up again. Um, videos, my next video on Vimeo, which will drop on December 1st, is a updated tool and supply list of, because I realized it's my, the, the supply list I have on there, I'd done a video a couple of years ago, pre-pandemic, half that stuff isn't even available anymore. So I'm going to be, I guess I've been talking and bending at the same time, doing an updated, revised, anywhere from kilns to whatever this is, these pliers, to double stick tape or anything that I have an opinion about. And you know, I have an opinion about a lot of things. I will tell you what I like. Sometimes it'll be a range of things because not everyone is going to want to spend, you know, $80. So I'm going to try to do some options for people who are, you know, can't spend $80 on a pair of pliers. So that is going to drop December 1st, and that is on my Vimeo. That is a separate subscription, but honestly, if you just want to skip the video, I shouldn't even tell you this, you can go to my website, go to this link, and when I post that video, there'll probably be a printable with links to where you can buy it that just anybody can read. Not that I don't want you to subscribe, but there you go. So that's not enough, but let me make... All right, so you've got that info. Boom. Let's take, I'm getting better. Let's go back up here. Everything's a little yellow, but I don't want to mess with the color right now. I feel, what if I went, let's change, let me change my light. There we go. Everything's so fancy. Now, let me just make a few more of these and we're gonna pause after I make this because I gotta quickly draw out the design for that pair of cufflinks. And I don't necessarily wanna fuse, um, I don't know, do you want to do a fuse right now? Got so many things to do. Let me make a few circles. Yeah, is it? Yeah, these are amazing. Definitely don't start with these because they are harder to use because it's you have to be really, really precise. Practice with, I would say, the the medium to large curly cues. Once you make really big curly cues, those are actually more challenging. Like a really large swoopy thing, harder, way harder. All right, I'm going to make a few dots, and we'll see where we are. I've been blabbing. Also, I need to, another thing, so many, it's like a million things you have to do on Twitch. Um, 
I'm not sure if it's really applicable for my viewers, but there will be like custom emoticons or something like that that I can make. There'll be little awards, all of that, but it is farther down the pipeline. But I don't think it's that, that important. Make Anyway, those were some larger ones. Let's make some smaller ones. There we go. And you know what? Let me just make a couple more curly cues because I bet I need them. And another. Oh, and then I have to do a curly cue for the sky on each side. Oh, that's not my favorite curly cue right there. Now, let's just see where we are curly cue wise. Let me see, I'll need a little finessing. All right, so the curly cues are going to live down here. That was a nice curly cue. There we go. Um, I'm going to have to look, bring. Let me bring that. There we go. There we go. Now I can see what's going on. Put some curly cues. Thought I picked it up. And you, I'm going to pull you out for a moment. Curly Q. Where's with that perfect tiny curly Q? There we go. Curly Q. A dot. And maybe another dot. There. Just like that. Curly Q. Actually, you're going to go right there. Big curly Q. Go like that. And a dot. Let's run that in a moment. You can hang out right there. Just, oh, well, you, there you go. That's good. All right, so we need like three more curly cues. All right, one more curly cue and two dots. How's that? Get my glasses on. Unstable. Yes. That's a good curly cue. Boop. And you can move right there. And then two dots. Oh, and then the curly cue for the sky. Good. Wait, there's one more. Just in case we need you, you can hang out right there. And I'm going to make two dots. One, maybe three dots. Two. Where did they go? They fell down. And then I'm just going to set them 
right in here. Let's see which one will open here. What a dot. And then a dot over here. We'll, we'll arrange them later. We just need to make sure we have enough dots to fill in. And then just two curly cues for the sky. And let's see. We'll start. The sky is going to kind of have like a nice S shape. So see how we start with this nice sweet S. And maybe I'm going to use, I've adjusted just like, let me see if I can. Get in there. This is the wind. See a sweet shape like that, which is just like that. Get some, keep, keep, get some options going and probably one more on that side so yeah now I said two but I'm on three let me just cut you Should go the other way. This way. Shorten that in a bit. And then one more S curve. Sweet S curve. Always start with your widest curve. There we go. That is a sweet little and then this one, I guess the wind keeps going the same, but, or does it matter? Yeah, we'll have this. Need it. And one more little tiny one. I don't like that little one. I'm going to redo it. There we go. That's a better curl. So let me just trim you. And there we go. All right, so you, oh, gross. You can hang out here. Use a piece. No. Nope. All right. There we go. Sweet. We are done. I know that one doesn't look like much, but it will once we get the color. Some are really color. The colors are very necessary. So let us zoom out. Bring back our tray of finishedness, and you guys can go 
right there. All right, look at all this stuff that we've done. Very exciting. So next on the agenda, before we get to this last one of the day, well, it's not the last one because there's one before it. Oh, and there's going to be curly cues. A pair of cufflinks that I don't have on this thing. So we're going to go ahead and take a moment, do a little coloring, maybe. Well, well they're going to be blue. These are actually going to be cobalt blue, but I'll figure out the colors in a moment. But I do want... And luckily, I don't have to saw them out. I mean, we're not going to make the bases right now. I'll probably make the bases later today or tomorrow. And because they, they're just going to get punched out because they're circles, which is nice. So let's just start with the size of the cuff link, which is, I got my finger on it. That's the exterior size. I'm making two. I mean, it doesn't matter, but... And let's make, while we're sitting here, a place to put the tape. And yeah, I could probably... Actually, I would still have to do the design part. And then the tiny circle on the inside is... This size? This size. And yeah, I'm eyeballing it, but there we go. And then these will be for the tape. Just like that. And there is a circle on the and yeah, I'm I'll, sometimes you can bend wires. Look, it looks like boobs. <laughs> hold on, hold on, everybody. It's going to be in the, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, hold on. And there is this. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was a close call. Oh, can I say that word? I don't even know. Whatever gonna be this oh my god yeah don't look at how I'm drawing this but it's really just I'm gonna make it'll be perfectly uniform and then we've got curly cues curly cues curly cues curly cues curly cues I trust that my wire the wires will look better so this is the first drawing I've done live in front of anybody. How am I doing? <laughs> Can you tell I have a degree in illustration? Ugh. Oh, wait, did I go backwards? <laughs> Whatever. There and there. All right, so that's basically the design. So we at least know where we're going with that. And I'll figure out the colors. It's going to be actually really pretty shades of cobalt blues and... A little bit of citron green but I have to triple check I got to look up the order so that we're just gonna do these wires next what is it tape let's see if I get one piece there we go let's just I'm going to cut out both of these. And yes, I will get my colored pencil that and color it in later, later. Fun coloring. There we go. There we go. Got our little place. And now we're, we'll start. I don't even know why I'm doing this. With some, wait, these are definitely silver wire since it's cobalt blue. So here we are. Let's grab some more. A little bit 
one is up with this wire. There we go, a little wire. And I don't think I'm going to use my microscope. I'm going to. Here we go. Focus. Let's bring a little bit more light. Now, last easy thing of the day. A nice little thing of those. We'll start from the center and obviously I may not position it right here in the center, but trust me when I make it and I'm putting these wires in, I'm going to make sure that it is centered because this is something that would matter. So we definitely need a dot. A small little dot on the center. So I'm going to start, because these I want them to be really perfect circles. So I'm going to start kind of with this and double check that that's the right size. Actually, if you go over, that'll be Oh, never mind. That one is nonsense. Try it again. There we go. Start with that. That looks like it'll be perfect. Trim it. Let me make another one. Perfect. Now to make it, see how they're not really perfect circles? We want, we want better than that. So I'm going to take this and roll it just like that to make sure we have a nice, not a gloopy shape. That's better, and you'll be able to tell the difference in the slightly larger one. Where did I put my tweezers? I guess there you are, buddies. So I know, look where we're going again. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, all right, so one more circle, but it's a little bit bigger. So I think that is too big. How about this one? Yeah. And this one, I'm going to go like I'm making jump rings. I'm going to see if I like the size first. I do. Well, or do I want it to be just a hair smaller? Let's, is that smaller or bigger? Sometimes it's hard to tell. That's bigger. And I would keep these in order. Let's see. All right, you know what? It's the perfect size. Perfect. I'll just pull it nice and taut. So, way more than we need, but there we go. See a nice, sweet, curly cue. Let them fall. You little, it's fine, whatever, you just live there. Let them all fall and then pick out two good ones. There we go. And what I'm gonna do, I want them to be a little smaller. So I'm gonna trim them just like that. Get this one too. Trim. Trim you just like that. And then, what size I need? Nope, I need one 
this. This is where. Oh, what a day. Did you see what I just did? All right, I'm going to have a sip of my green tea. Oh, my ad is about to start. Well, this is a good moment. Sorry if you're watching this, there's an ad about to start. If you subscribe, you don't have to watch the ad. I have no idea what kind of ads they are. Hopefully they're not terrible. But while that is happening, I'm gonna try again with this and take a moment and get it better. Oh, that's the right size. No. This, this, this is the right size. I didn't like those sizes anyway, so those, whatever, those can live over there. Let's just see. And this. This wouldn't happen with gold wire because I would have had it all figured out. That, that I already like better. Let's just let them fall. That's a better size circle. Just like that. Well, now, Let's get the leaves on there. So the leaves are going to be, I think this would be good. Let's see. Yeah. So I'm gonna make a bunch of these and then we'll make a bunch of leaves. We need eight leaves in total. Let's see, I'm gonna eight circles, probably make eight leaves, maybe. I never have too many. There we go. And then these will be leaves, so I'm going to cut. Just like that. And I'm going to just do a single leaf, make sure it's the right size, and honestly probably would be better to, there we go, just like that one finger, pinch it a little bit. Getting the first one is always the challenge. And didn't we just do, back at the very beginning of the stream, we made this shape. Let's see. It's going to be, I think, just just right. So, these have, do these not get cut? Let's just see what's going on. There we go. So, one, two... Four. Yeah, we need some more of these, but that's fine. I'm going to trim them, trim them, trim them, trim, trim. leaves off these leaves, you know? Sometimes, you know, you have to think about what's the sunk cost fallacy of, I feel like the leaves are too fat. 
I don't like these leaves. Go away. Alrighty. Try. You know, it's the simple things that do you in. The simple things. And I'm going to take one moment and adjust my light. Hold on. Let me auto. See if I can just up it a hair. Just a little bit. A little bit. Let's lock that. Now I'm going to use my gray card and adjust the white balance. Let's see, look what I got at. It's like three things on a handy carrying case. Just probably could have just gotten a gray piece of paper. Let's see, hold on. Gray card. Yeah, I can't tell the difference. That was probably a waste of four bucks. So whatever. Let's start. Let's start again. Let us. The problem was they were too fat, so I need a bigger mandrel. Not too big. The, the trick is sometimes you way over overcompensate. So I'm gonna try this size. Let's see. Is that going to be, I think this is a better one. Yes. So this is a bigger mandrel. And there we go. Just see if I like it. You can see I'm just blowing through the water right now. These are bigger circles. Let's cut them. Maybe I can get two out of each one. Let's see. Wouldn't that be? Dare? I bet no. Maybe. All right, so these are going to be too thin, aren't they? Okay. No, no, no. Maybe. There we go. I think that is better. And if I had to make this circle a little smaller, that will be fine. There we go. And yes, there's going to be some trimming. That is fine. You know what? These are perfect. I love them. And get these little guys. And then we'll do however many. Curly cues. There we got one. Two. This is the one finger method. Three. Four. Oh, you. Oh, no, we're good. I think we got enough. Five. They're not all perfect, but I think they'll be good. Be Obviously, we got a little bit of finessing to do, but we'll do that. Off camera. This one's way too big. Oh, good Lord. Let me just make one more. We're getting... We're in the home stretch with this nonsense. All right. There we go. There we go. Little. All right. Let's just. Let's just do that. One it is that'll be fine. This will be fine. 
We'll just make that some. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Blah. Alrighty. We'll move along. Sometimes you just have to move forward and then come back and revisit it with fresh eyes. Let's just get peace. There we go. Let's just get a couple of curly cues and then this one will be done. All right, I am going to do the thing where I lift up a little bit. Let's just do that. Curly cues. Well, look at this. This is not my best, my finest creation of the wire, but this part is good. So we'll use that. And then this can go there. Now that's a nice straight piece of wire. And I'm going to use that. And we need two, four, six, eight. We need 16 curly cues for this. And they all have to be fairly uniform. One. Oh, not those. There we go. Two. What time is it? Almost one o'clock. Oh my goodness. Three. Oh, that's a good one. See, I'm getting in the zone now. Don't run away. There's four. Don't need over there. There we go. Don't need that. How many is that? Two, four, six. was a good one. It's always satisfying when you get a good one. Four, six, there's one.
go. You remember that bracelet I made? That I showed you the other day that, that took so long to bend. If you think this is taking a long time, that took a lot of time. Wait, two, four, six, eight, two, four. Wait, let's get that such piece. Let's see, this bothers me. Now, the exciting part will be the color. So I will definitely be streaming the color will be happening probably Tuesday. I'm hoping certainly by Tuesday. I think that's when I'm gonna be streaming again. Tuesday will be color, Wednesday, color, Thursday, color. Friday color, Saturday grinding and polishing, Wait, how many is that? Let me just make, I've lost track, I'm just going to make two more and then see where I am. One, two, that has to be enough. Wait, two, four, six, wait, two, four, ugh, six, eight, two, Four, six, eight. That should be the correct number. And I'm just going to lay these on. I'll be finessing these because I'm probably going to make these other ones a little smaller. They go just like this. That will be fine. And they can get trimmed when I'm putting them on. Oops. Scoot you up. you up. There we go. No, it doesn't look. This is one where the it's another one where the color just it's going to be really nice. I'm going to hang out there. There. dot there. Doo, doo, doo. Oh my goodness. All right. Oh my goodness. That one is done for now. I know there's going to be some uh, tweaking and finessing when I'm putting these on there for sure, but they will be lovely. Hold on. Bring back the platter of finishedness and you can go right there look at all these finishings literally one more to go of the fronts i should specify the fronts so i am going to take a moment i'm going to need to put a spot and cut you i want to save this and remember, I'm going to tape, I'll get them colored, you know, just for my own edification. I'm actually going to take these wires. These are the ones that didn't work out. There we go. They can go into the scrap drawer. 
get everything, save every little nibble. Obviously, some are bigger than others. There we go. We're just prepping for the last thing. I will cut. I'm just going to take these on. You know, this is for me as well. So, let's see. I'll color this in a moment. Because that's going to be blue. So, actually, it's going to use have the same color palette, which works out nice. So, I'll color that in a moment. Just so, I know what's going on. We've added everything. So, the next, the final front design is this is I love I know the the drawing isn't really great but the finished piece is really lovely and I've got the base oh, it's gonna be oh let me grab the this is a fi uh, Mexican fire opal right there And then it gets connected. Oh, I'm gonna have to make another, I have to make a clasp too. And then we have, see, so look at these gorgeous, this strand, look how beautiful. Um, I wanna say these are fire opals, but I, I can't quite remember exactly the stone, but very, very beautifully cut too. Nice, and so that's gonna attach like this. So we get kind of a, a lovely thing like that with our sweet, sweet fire opal it goes right in there at the very end. I'm not even going to try it. I'm going to, I didn't draw, I didn't draw, I draw the hole. I was going to put some gold leaf in there. We'll see. Probably would be smart to drill a hole so I don't run into trouble setting this. So, but we've got this all ready to go. So that's going to be really pretty. And then we have kind of these shades of gray and then this is really going to glow from the center. That is the plan. So just so pretty. So pretty. All right. I could look at those for a long time, but time's a ticking. So let's get this it's really pretty. I'd open it up, but it'll probably end up on the floor. So I'm not going to open that up. There we go. Now, last one, this guy. And it's not the best drawing of it. Tempted to draw it again. Or did I? Did I? Did I? I did! Aha! Look at me. Thank you, previous Sandra. Although I don't love this drawing. You know. You know what? Whatever. We're going to go from this. You know, I was tired when I did that drawing. I can tell. You know, the previous center, like, you know, I do all this work for you. And nothing happened. So, last one. Let's get our last clean thing. There we go. We are in the home stretch. I just love it's called Sacred Forest is the name of this piece. So yeah, you know what? I'm going to quite literally I can do better than I drew it in both of those with the wires. So that's generally sometimes easier to just, you know, off the cusp. But although I haven't had much luck with that today, but what you gonna do Last one, last one, last one. There we go. Let me get some fresh, that's a good, a good one. And where did I put? Got a ton, and it's all a bit tangled. I'm gonna pull it all out. We got a little bit. There we go. Because I was trying to yank it out, but we got 
some beautiful cloisonne wire. Let's all admire that for a moment and get a good one. Let's get a good one. This is a good piece, a good wire. There we go. That's a good one. There we go. Now, last wire piece of the day. That is so exciting. All right. Probably going to need all of these. It looks like a big piece. So I pulled a, pulled a lot out accidentally. So, but that's fine. Just going to trim them into shorter strips so that they are there. Nice little pile of wire. And got that. And we'll start with the base. We're going to start in the center. Sounds like a good plan. And I am going to use my jewelry microscope. So I'm going to pull this forward. Here's where I'm working. So let me just, oop, let me, oh, wrong way, wrong way. There we go. We're getting there. Now, got those things, we will start with the base. Always good to work from a solid foundation. And the base is just, you can't even really tell what's going on in the drawing, but luckily I know what's going on because I need it. So we're gonna start with a sweet, circle just like just like that and a little bit more a little bit more circling oh nice tug that's a better, that's a nice base. We don't need much. There we go. Just like that. And yes, it's filled with curly keys. Of course it is. There we go. But we'll do the curly cues last because I'll have to adjust the camera to do the curly cues so I can get my big honking face in there and see the curly cues. There we go. So we've got a nice foundation there. And then we've got our main tree. It's a triumvirate of sacred trees. So we'll start with the first tree. And here's where we can get a little Oh, look, that fits perfectly. I'm going to just, and here's where we decide if we want to do angular trees or soft trees. I think, I don't know what I think. I'm going to start just that, bend it down, a combination, soft with a few angles. Like that would be cool. And I'm definitely going to, I want to leave enough room in the background for all this beautiful, so the negative area is really what we're going for here. We, not, we want a lot of negative area because this is going to be beautifully shaded, you know, black and gray, but it's these golden vivid reds and oranges that just kind of explode from the back. So, and you'll see when we're doing the color, how much fun it is. So, just one 
at a time. So we're going to start with our main tree friend. You know, what will leave enough? Ne remember, negative space here. Like that. And so we'll do a little bit of that. And we should basically just pull into the station having finished this up. That would be very nice. I'm going to keep that out of the way. I normally would like to cut this and kind of, you know, so I can have, you know, maneuver it a little bit more, but. I don't want to cut this piece of paper, so, and I don't want to go make another Xerox of it, you know, there's just, I'm just going to make it work here. A little trunk, and then switch this one. Just perfect. Just like that. One at a time. There we go. Just like this. And this piece isn't necessarily for, doesn't necessarily need to be done for Christmas but it would be nice. There we go. Little trunk. Now we're gonna get to the main branches and get my round large. I'm gonna start this way. Okay. Oh, where'd you go? Starting like this. Just like that. And then that's good. Trim. have a drawing so I'm just really going to be eyeballing just like that for now that's perfect go over there next one is another big one let's go ahead and get ourselves start ourselves with some sort of a round shape another one of these Let's see. We'll be way over there. Let's just, just like that. There we go. like that. A little bit extra space for the vivid color. Now, you, is that right here? I'm already like, what is going on? That's good for now. Obviously, there's lots of room for trimming. Let's just see what else we've got. We've got another one like this. Good times. Just wait till we get to these wings. Very pretty. Circles. Like that. 
and put that right over there. I don't think you can see off camera. That's a real simple shape. Trim. Hold on. Oh, I got a pop-up that says pre-roll ads are disabled for 41 minutes. So maybe I, I did my allotment of ads. I have no idea. Again, my apologies if the ads are terrible. It's a work in progress. So um, the good news is I don't have any sponsorships to tell you. <laughs> um, well, you should go buy your enamels from enamelartsupply.com. There you go. That's not really a sponsorship, but you should give them your money because they have taken a lot of my money and they ship internationally. There we go. Oh, perfect. As I hit the getting closer, I'm liking, I'm liking the feel of this tree. It's feeling, you know, dynamic. Like it's like, yes, awesome. Each one is unique. Each one is unique. So sweet. Let me put you over there. We're getting there. Slow but mellow progress is the name. Now this I know I just made did I just make this? Oh yeah, because the other one had trees in it too. Oh yeah, this guy right here. Had to, I'm like, why? I feel like I just made a tree, but I made a little mini forest yesterday. Let's just trim you. Let's get you. You. There we go. It's all good and don't worry. What? Got that and that. Hold on. I think what's happening is. You know what? Maybe you want to live. No, it's fine. Sometimes the tree tells me how he wants to be. So you can't. Oh, that little guy. And what I'll do is, after I've done the wires, I might, you know, get some tracing paper and then trace the actual. It'll. Well, nope. It depends. I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm talking how I would have used to do something, but now I don't need to do that because of another reason. And you will learn that if you come back when I'm gluing the wires in place. Oh yeah, we gotta do all of that. So we're not starting with color on Tuesday. I forgot an entire step of counter enameling and it's gonna be a lot. How can I forget a step? I do this every single day. There we go, I kinda like that. Oh yeah. And then we'll do one little boop and one little boop. I'm not even going to look at the thing. I'm just going to make them. I want them to be just like that. Oh. Unstable. Well, hopefully this playback is all right. Two things I'm going to do before the next. Just one thing at a time. Well, two things at a time. Two things before the next stream that are technical. One is I'm going to get myself a really long cord because right now I'm doing, I'm streaming over my Wi-Fi and I'm going to plug my, oh, I can't. Never mind. I'm not going to be able to do that. I was thinking I was streaming from my laptop, which I'm not. I'm streaming from my phone. And I am not prepared to switch that just yet. So 
it is what it is with that. But I will get my, I promise I will get my microphone set up. I have a nice one that I just bought. It arrived. And there's a 45 minute video I need to watch so I can learn how to use it. But it's a really nice road. It's a lavalier style. It won't connect so I won't constantly be, I had a lavalier for my videos and when I use it, I tend to forget that I'm attached physically to my thing and then I stand up and everything gets pulled off the table. It's just, you know, ridiculous. All right, I love that. I love this tree, looking bold, bold. So now his two friends on either side, we gotta get them next. Doop, doop. And let's see. His two little friends kind of peeking out like we're here too. <laughs> there we go. We're off. I want them to be as bold, but they need to, you know, to be bold, but still fit in this smaller space. Bold, tiny, but mighty is what these little trees are going to be. Just like that. And yeah. Just like that. We'll do one side and then the other. Not like it really matters, but you know. A little bit of shape to my wire. Scooch over there. And I'm going to use my fingers a little bit. That looks good. There we go. And a little foot. I love having a little bit of foot. There we go. This, I should be listening. <laughs> There's no, I guess, you, I, don't, I have no idea if you can listen to music on any of this, and I would never, ever, in, you know, impose my music taste on anyone because I'm terrible. Um, but, man, I should be listening to some Lorena McKennett with this piece right now. Totally would work. So, did I just age myself? Probably, but that's okay. I am not. See, so you... Oh, hold on, I'm going to up you a little bit because of the realities. There we go. Then it gives us a lot of nice negative space there. And I'm going to not trim that. So we'll keep you a little closer because you are, I'm already off the reservation with this tree, but that's okay. I'm definitely switching to my medium size round nose pliers if anyone is. Making notes, making notes. There we go. Just like that. And before I trim it, I'm going to bring you over here and see what we've actually got. I'm going to pull you down a little bit, a little bit more room, and that, Oop, knock you over, that's all right. That's good. Now, trim. I'm leaving this a little long because I know I'm going to be fussing with them later. And this wants to go like that. There we go. And this one's really, really fun to do the colors because I lay in the bold tree in front gets 
all its chalky, inky blackness, but the back, the two in back, get a whole layer, layer of the rainbow, and then I just do transparent blacks. It's really a lovely effect, which will happen not on Tuesday, <laughs> Wednesday probably, Wednesday. And, oh, it's like a windstorm. Felt like the building was gonna get picked up and thrown away. All right, so let me get you out of the way. And this is good now. One more. Just like that. Gonna do. See that. That's good. Now, oh, I'm on the wrong side. I'm on the wrong tree here, but that's a good shape. I'm going to keep it. So, I'm going to jump the gun with the other tree. We'll make the other ones work conform to this specific wire. Because sometimes the wires just tell you that they're right. I am perfect for this spot. So we don't know exactly where you're gonna go, but it's gonna be somewhere right around there. And you can just live there and we'll catch up with you later. So now, I'm actually gonna break out our sweet, sweet, tiny, tiny round nose pliers. Getting to that little area. Oh, move that. Just wait, we've got that, that. To do this. Now, I'm going to trim this one just a hair. Where? What am I even looking at? There we go. That's, that's what I want. And I would probably have one more little piece on that guy. Start with you. And, oh, where are you? There we go. And it's hard to see what's going on with this one color drawing, but that's good, that is good, definitely male bird, you know I have my mail turned off, if I have the app not open on the laptop I don't think it should be bothering me. There we go. That should be good. And you, let's see. Oh, that's fine. That's good. And we'll do one, one more quick time. There we go. One more little baby. 
thing. I'm not even going to look. I should just. We're going to eyeball you. Just. Just like that. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That's a good. There we go. And then you are going to be right there. Oh, now that's, that's a nice tree. I might shorten you just a little bit. a nice little friend. Now let's get that last little tree in. Oh. Last little tree. And oh, we made that one already. Let's just you can live over there. Let's see where we are. We did this little guy. Start with, let's get our trunk going. That's good. Tilt you up. The branches want to reach up to the sky. You're saying yes. That's a good shape. Let's see how much of how that's good. And you are going to come up here. That's fine. And we need one shape right like that. I'm just going to do that because I'm not going to have to look at the drawing for that. And let's see. Crafting. Let's just bend you a little bit. Bend you a little bit. We don't need much. Oh, yeah, that's good. Now. There we go. That's perfect. That's nice. Now we've got, let's see where we are. With our tree, we gotta get, let's get this little guy going. We've got one, two, three. Let's do the trunk. The trunk is going to be, where did you go? There you go. We'll start by a little bit of that and a little bit. It's just, there we go. Oh, yes. Easily. Now I'm going to give you a little foot. Oops. Just like that. There we go. And just I'm going to hold that so that piece doesn't fly away. Because I don't want to do that one again. That's good. And it up now. You, there we go. 
just like that. This little foot. Now we have a couple other branches and start with this shape and I'm going to actually work on the drawing because who even knows what's going on oh yes that's good I kind of like this long trunk and then you're going to come open a little bit and then, oops. that's a good shape. That's good. Merry little tree. There we go. So sweet. You know what? Now I'm not liking it. It's a little too, it's a little too much. Is that? Oh, well, that one didn't work out. You know, sometimes it's like yes, yes, yes. Oh no, no, no. Let's go back to our drawing. Obviously, we should just sometimes stick. It was just, I don't like it. I know it doesn't matter, but it does. It makes a big difference. All right, so that's good. And that's what I want. You'll do fine. There and there. Open you up just a little bit more. There we go. And then we have one, two, and three. Three little bits. Three bits. Three bits. And One will be just like that. This guy will start. Bend you up. Oh, you little bastard. Cool. Oh, what are you doing? Just a little bit. That's good. Bend you a little bit. That's good. Getting closer. It's when I'm, you know, off the plan where it takes a little extra time. That's good. That's good. Now one and two. And the one will be real easy. We'll just do a sweet little bend just like that. And then one more. I'm going to eyeball it. Let's see. Just like that. Go. 
down. That's good, that's good. Told you these little forests take a while. They are all unique. There we go, that's a good, I'll do a little trimming, but I'm liking how, oop, did I drop that piece? I'm liking how each of these trees is unique. They're really filling in the negative area. That looks lovely. Boom, done for that. We're going to do, we're gonna, I said we're gonna do those curly hues last, but we gotta do these wings, which I kinda wanna, I really wanna change them a little bit. Did I draw, how did I, did I like how I drew them? I might go back. One, two, three. Yeah, we'll just go on based on this. I didn't like the trees in this, but I thought the wings looked fine. So, and I'm just gonna use one side so that they are the same, uniform on both. And let's see, we are in the home stretch. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna pop over to the window. I'll be right back in three seconds. Sorry, I'm dying of thirst. I'm having a sparkling water. I was gonna wait to the end, but I'm like, I'm gonna die. Stay hydrated, everyone. There we go. So much better. Um, all right, now, boop, 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 easy. These are nice. I, got, I still have plenty of this. And we're gonna, we've got three rows of wings and this is, the wings are more unlike the wings. Did I do wings? Oh, I did wings last week. Um, actually, let me show you the other wings because I wanna show you the difference between the two styles of wings that I do. So yeah, I gotta go to the other thing and get it. Someday I will finish this one. Well, this will be next. See these wings, and you can't necessarily tell them because they're already on the piece, but you can see these are very round and soft. I don't know why we're not going to focus. Whatever, that's fine. Um, but compared to, to these, this wing, which is a little bit more angular, it has a little bit more dyna, dynam, whatever. It has a little bit more verve. So these are soft, these are not. So there's I make them in a different way is kind of, and I can't wait. I'm super stoked about making that because it's a new color combo. Um, it's going to be all really pale teals. It's going to be very luscious, but that's going to probably have to wait until all of these other things are done. You know, I was, I'm so pleased to have so much work to do because this is all paying the bills. So no complaints. <laughs> <laughs> no complaints. Alrighty, uh, but I'd hoped you know to work up enough inventory so I didn't have to make everything as it gets sold. But you know, I just there's just never enough time in the day. All right, let me just figure out how I'm going to get started here. So that being said, the first one is still a little round. I agonize over wings probably more than I need to. So we'll start. With that. And there's going to be some really lovely shading in this. And I'm gonna straighten it out just a little bit, get a little angularness. There we go. That's good. And I'm gonna set you one at a time. I'm gonna basically, because I want them to be the same, boop, 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 back and forth, one at a time. 
already forgotten what I did. See, that's how fast it leaves my brain. Let's do that. See if we get this done. I think I'm I've got there we go. Sweet. Yeah, once you get the first three, it's a lot easier to kind of get get going. And then this one, there's a small amount. They're not perfectly straight. There's a small amount of sweet. Roundness. Soft. There's a little bit of softness. And, but they definitely come to more of a point. That's where I'm getting there. there I'm going to get to the point and tell you I come a little bit up just like that. Just like that. I'm going to set you right there for a moment. And yes. A little roundness. a point just like that and I'm just already going off the design now I'm already veering away from the design but it's all right now yes you know, I'm liking, probably going to redo that, those first ones that I did. Let's see if I can make this just a little bit more angular. That's better. Just overlap a little bit. And then one more. Sweet. I'm running out. at a time. One at a time. And I'm probably going to put one more over there. We'll see. One more. Just like that. Yeah, I'm going to do a fourth little feather here. Just right there. Okay. 
Real short. Just like that. Boy, it is gusty outside. Is there a storm coming? That's good. One more on that. And I mean, we don't really need to make that. And I'm going to just kind of mimic this same one over here. So it's the same size. Real tiny. There we go. That's the first row of feathers. Now we're going to get to the second row. These. Now they kind of tuck in a little bit and they have a little bit more of a chiseled shape. These are kind of points. These come with almost two points. So that's the plan. And sometimes it's nice. I might just make a little pile. Let me put, let me put these. There we go. Do we need this? What are we even doing here? Oh, we are, yeah. We'll just keep that. You know what? I'm going to get you out of the way. Everybody's been staring at that for too long. I know I have. Let's have some more. Wood. I know I got. should have brought my gray mat back. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It's probably going to be six. As many as I can squeeze in. They have a nice chisel. They're all about the same size. So I'm just going to make a little pile that are all the same and then fit them individually. So I've got to look at, I kind of like the shape of this one. So we're going to start with that. Let's see, we still have a small amount of roundness. So it's kind of, we don't want it to be too round. So let's start with just a little bit, keep you right there. And the first, so we start here a little bit like that, and then pinch it. Let's see, that's looking good. Straighten you up. Yeah, these take a little bit longer than the other shapes. Yeah, I like that. And I'm just gonna trim that and then I'm gonna just see. Yeah. And they'll just be different heights. So yeah, I'm gonna make a little pile of them. I'll set you guys over there. So I don't remember, we started with a small amount of round, just on that one side. I'm telling, I'm talking my way through it so I remember. And then we have a slight bend and then a big bend. A slight bend, just like that. And then a big bend, which I'm gonna pinch. And then I'm going to open it up, straighten it, and trim it. There's two. Eight more to go. Oh, where did you go? There you go. A little bit like that. And... Big bend. Just 
going to kind of trim. I'm not even going to look at them. I'm just going to eyeball because they're all going to have to get adjusted. So we're just making a pile, kind of like curly cues. Slight bend. Big bend. A good one. Four. There we go. There we go. And a slight bend. Big bend, trim. Oh, of course, the word was the one I was working on. Always going back to the same thing. Four, five, six. Slight bend. And trust me, I've made entire piles of these and then been like, oh, I'm changing my mind. So, but, you know, I'm the artist. I get to change. I'm allowed to change my mind. Never be afraid. If you think of a better way to do it, you know, it is going back to the sunk cost fallacy. You know, so you spent some time, but you didn't waste the time. Time spent creating is always beneficial because you always learn something or at the very least, I don't know, insert some sort of platitude there. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's, I know I'm gonna want 10. Well, let's just see. Let's just see what is what with these wings. Um, I've already forgotten. I mean, I do have to kind of look at my thing. All right, wait, they go this way. I'm just looking at the direction of the wings. They go this way. So I'm just going to stick you like that. I'm just kind of eyeballing them. I feel like that one's upside down, but I actually don't hate it. Do I? No, I do hate it. It's, it's, there's a consensus. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's better. Three. Four. Looks like maybe just five. There's a short one. Oh, oh yeah, we do want five. So yeah, we're going to have to make a few more, but that is okay. This one needs to get trimmed. In fact, I'll make two short ones. I'll use these. So this one goes like that. I can definitely trim that in a moment. Two, 
Give me a moment. I have to just have to stare at the ceiling really fast. Sometimes you have to just step away. Gather your thoughts and decide that that wire didn't want to be there anyway. Let's, let's just see which wire does want to be there. This one, maybe. There's that one. It is. You do want to be there. You just can't decide. Two, three. These are just all too long. I think I. That's the thing. No, we're good though. We just have to trim. Let's see. We got this height. That does look all right. Yeah. Trim this. Make two short ones. Stop fussing about it. It's all going to be okay. Oh, I see. I see what you did there. All right, I'm just going to leave you be right there. One and two more. All right, two more, two more, two more. We're almost there. We're getting into the home stretch. Home stretch. Alrighty. Now, we don't need these to be as long. So I'm going to quite literally make them shorter. We are just like that. Probably even need to be shorter than that, but that's fine. One. Just like this. Now, we are getting towards the end of our live podcast. We're probably not going to finish this. I'm going to finish this little thing and then probably call it. And let me tell you what's going to be happening in the next live stream. Actually, let me make... Let me... Let me make this wire and then I'll tell you what's happening in the next live stream. I'm not multitasking. Fooled around long enough. I'm going to get this wire done. Remember, a tiny bend, a big bend, and a trim. There we go. Now, and yes, I guarantee you, I'm going to, when the cameras stop rolling, like the whole crew goes home. <laughs> Um, yes, the crew of zero. I will be fussing with this late into the evening today because I want these wings to be just right. And I am going to, there we go, I'm going to trim him just like that. And there we go. Don't hate that. Well, obviously there's some trimming and then one more row will be lovely. So remember if you have forgotten where we're going with this, here is the design. So, you know what? Let's, let's reiterate, let's look at what we've done today. Let's bring our, I'm gonna get this out of the way. Let's pull up and have a look at all the things that we accomplished today with these wires. So, very exciting. We've gotten, I'm gonna finish the wires, there's gonna be wires on the backs of some of these. And so that's all gonna happen just between me and myself and the spirits of my studio. And, but next time, which I wanna say is Tuesday or Wednesday, I'll have to look at the schedule of when I said I was streaming. I will probably remember we have, if you were here earlier, we've got the bases, 
that are all ready to go. And some of them already have the wires and the counter enamel, but most of them are just blank silver, fine silver bases. And we will, that's going to be so exciting. Uh, we will, in the next video, counter enamel on the back, add all our wires on the back, and do our decorative textured foil on the front and hopefully get started attaching these wires will be attached to their get their forever homes on these silver bases in the next video and then the one after that will be the not that I'm like the next one's not going to be fun it'll be if you thought this was fun and you were willing to watch this you know bless your heart that is awesome you will enjoy the next step as well but we all know the money shot is when we get the colored enamels out and start adding the brilliant colors to these in beautiful layers and start getting the actual, there's our colors, colors, because this is, you know, this is where we're heading with all of these pieces. And it's going to be a really exciting journey. I can't tell if we're focused or not. That's fine. I'm, I don't have my glasses on. So I, God, I can't tell which one I want to do the most. Probably this one's called Caladrius. I don't know if you know the story of Caladrius, but you'll just have to look it up. That one's going to be fun. They're all going to be fun. And I'm really, really looking forward to getting these all done. And yeah, so there we go. We are, what time is it? It's 2.01, everybody. That was four hours of streaming and blathering nonstop. So thank you so much. Hold on one sec. I'm going to put up a few screens. If you are interested in actual tutorials, a reminder, I have a Vimeo thing that you can subscribe to, and I do two videos per month. Although the last time I did three videos all at once, um, of very specific, they're very project bases, and we're going to be starting a project in January with all thigh, um, what are those sparkly enamels? Um, <laughs> it's been so long. Um, anyway, whatever. There's going to be things you can learn with that if you're interested. If you are interested in buying something on my Etsy store, oop, there's that. And if you just want to go to my website, yeah. Go back to that other thing yes so thank you so much for supporting me and if you have a moment and you want to support me further please subscribe to this channel if you have amazon prime you can subscribe for free to my channel so think about using your one free twitch subscription that you get with your amazon prime account and point it in my direction i would be very very excited and thrilled for that and again, thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of your Sunday afternoon, evening, wherever in the world you are. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks again. Check it out. Take care, everybody.